Hi guys, today I have a huge Christmas home decor video. I honestly don't know if I've ever had this much stuff to share with you guys in one haul. My last video, I was just at Home Goods and I told you guys after the shop with me that I was gonna share a home goods haul. So in today's haul, I have home goods, I have some stuff from Target because I ended up going there the next day, and then I also, no, no, the mailman. And then I also have a few items from Big Lots. So since I have so much, I'm gonna try not to blab for a really long time and jump right into it. But just so you guys know, if you're looking for any of these items yourself, I'm going to link everything down below in the description box, everything that I can find. Um, you just keep creeping your way up here. It's always one dog or the other one. Hey, can you sit? So hope you guys enjoy this haul. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. My living room right now literally just looks like Christmas threw up in here. So I cannot wait till this haul is done and then I can actually start putting things where they need to go, really decorating. I'm so excited for the Christmas decorating videos and my Christmas home tour that I'm gonna do this year. So I've got a lot of work to do, but first I'll just start with the home goods stuff. One really cool thing that I grabbed from home goods was this wreath. It's very gold. My dog is just like laying on my foot right now. It's very gold, but I thought this would look cool in my kitchen, like in the window. So that's kind of where I was thinking this would go. The only thing is I have that very colorful tree in there, and now I'm not sure if it's really going to blend. I have another wreath that I'll show you guys in a few minutes, and you guys can help me decide which wreath you think would look better in my kitchen. So this was like $25. It's really, really pretty. If I don't put it in my kitchen, I'm sure I can find another spot for it. I'm realizing a lot of my home goods stuff was kind of impulse buys. I really wanted some big, chunky stockings. These are the ones I found, and I think they're really, really cute. Then I brought them home and I was kind of like holding them up to our new mantle and everything. And I wasn't sure, like with the fringe and stuff. If it didn't have the fringe on it, I think I would like it a lot more. So if you guys have seen like any really big, chunky stockings, please comment down below and let me know. I mean, this was very affordable. It was like $12.99. I did end up getting two of them. Now I'm not sure. So that was kind of like an impulse buy, something I'm not quite sure about. Maybe once I get like my mantle all decorated and everything, I'll be able to kind of figure it out a little bit better. So I've said in other videos, we've redone our fireplace, like our mantle. We just put in new bookshelves and everything. I have a whole video coming with all of that. <laughs> I want to decorate those bookshelves now. So I was kind of looking for a few things that weren't necessarily like Christmas related for those bookshelves. And I found this, I just thought it was really cool. It's kind of like this little rock thing. I think it was like $25. It's very, very heavy. It could be used as like a bookend or something but I don't know, I just thought it was kind of different, kind of cool. This next item is a total Joshua find. This is a complete murder mystery night in a can. We've been talking to our friends about having a murder mystery night party at our house for so long. We definitely want to do it around the holidays sometime, but we found this and it had like everything in it you could possibly need. So we thought that was really cool. It was only $12.99. They had a bunch of them there. It was kind of in with all like the cool board games, like wooden board games and stuff that they have at Home Goods. So I know this is very random and not necessarily home decor, but if you guys are wanting to plan like a fun party to have at your house, if you can find those at your local home goods, they're really cool. Another thing that I ended up getting were these little paper plates. Last year, I got the napkins that were matching to these and I haven't actually used them yet, but I did pull them out because they kind of match my flocked tree in the other room. So I saw these actually in the checkout line and I just had to grab them. They were only like $2.99 each and there's eight plates in each, so. I just think they're like really fun and festive. Another thing I grabbed were these cookie cutters. Guys, these cookie cutters are so unique because they have like little cutouts in them. Do you see what I mean? So I think these are gonna be so fun to try. If you've been watching all of my videos lately, there was a video recently where I already made Christmas sugar cookies and it won't hurt me to have a couple cool new cookie cutters. So I'm really excited to 
try those out. And then you guys probably saw I grabbed this really large basket. It was $29.99. It's really, really big. And I think it's going to go in our family room. Probably buy our new fireplace. The other basket I ended up getting was this one. I already have it set up in this room and I think it looks really cute in here. This one is actually a square basket. I don't know if you can tell because I have all these pillows in it already. But it's square. It's really cool, modern. This one was $29.99. And I just threw a couple pillows in here that I already had. These are both from Target. This is super old. We've had that for years. I don't even know where it's from. So, yeah, I just think that looks kind of cute. I have it over here by the couch. The last few things I ended up getting from Home Goods were some books. Guys, I love coffee table books. I think they're gonna look really pretty on my new bookshelves. I got this one. It just says, for the love of white, the white and neutral home. It's very fitting since my whole house is painted white. So I kind of thought I needed that. This is the Magnolia Table, Joanna Gaines cookbook, and it was $12.99, so I thought that was a good deal for this cookbook. And then I also got her Homebody book. I just think it looks really, really pretty. This one was $19.99, but yeah, it's really, really cute. Yes. <laughs> These dogs. I mean, I really don't know how I get anything done. <laughs> Before I get into my Target haul, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things from Big Lots. These are some things that my mom actually found when she was randomly there one day and she thought that they would look really good, like the colors with my flocked tree in the other room. So she just picked it up. She was like, you know, you might not like it. You can take it back if you don't like it. I'm still kind of like figuring out where I would put these things, but I wanted to share them with you guys and maybe you would have some ideas for me. But there's only a few things. She found these two little things. Everything was 30% off too. Mary, Joy, and we were thinking, oh, they were only like $8 and then 30% off. So, oh, this one was five. So really good deal. So we were thinking these would look really cute on my new like finished bookshelves in the other room where my flocked tree is and everything. If you guys missed the video of me decorating my flocked tree, Make sure to check that out. I'll have that video link down below too because I love that tree so much. I do think these are really cute and they were super affordable. Two of these little guys, which they're really close to the exact same colors that I have on that flocked tree. These aren't flocked, but still like the same color scheme. These were $20 each and then 30% off. So again, a really good deal. I wasn't for sure where I wanted to put them yet, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be decorating my mantle and everything. So I wasn't sure if they would look good up there. I love this. I think this is so cute. I might even just have this like set up on my kitchen counter somewhere. This was $12 and then 30% off. The last thing is probably my favorite. It is this wreath over here. It's super colorful and really festive. How much was this? Oh, well, this was $25 and then 30% off. So that's a really good deal for a wreath. When she showed me this one, I was like, oh, maybe this would look better in my kitchen in the window instead of the gold one. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments below. Or do I end up just doing something like super plain? Because my tree in there is so colorful. So, you know, it's all a process. We've really got to think about it all. But let me know what you guys think down below. That was everything from Big Lots. Now moving on to some Target finds. My mom and I just randomly ran in there the other day. And oh my goodness, I got so much stuff. I could have done like a full shop with me video again, even though I just did one recently. But let me show you guys what I got. First, I found this, it's like a six foot flocked wreath, which this was, or not wreath, garland, which this is the exact size that I needed for my mantle and it is pre-lit which is really nice. I have to like fluff it up and everything. I haven't done that at all but I do think it's like the perfect size and I believe it was probably about like $30 but like I said everything will be linked down below in the description box if you guys want to check out anything. Another garland I got. This one is a little bit different for me but it looks like this. It has eucalyptus in it and then just kind of like all these different kind of greeneries, which I think it's really cool. 
So my idea for this was to do this on my dining room table, like all like down the middle. And then I was going to do a bunch of like little bottle brush trees. I'm obsessed with bottle brush trees right now. I got a couple that I showed in my last Target haul. Let me show you guys the ones I got this time. These are them, how many did I get? I got two of the taller ones and then four total of these little shorter ones. The shorter ones were $5, the taller ones were 10. So I was like, oh, I can do sort of like a little village as my tablescape maybe. I actually saw little bottle brush trees in the dollar spot section up in the front. They were probably about this big and they were $5. And then we went to the Wonder Shop area and I saw these, these are way taller and the same price. And I was like, oh, well, why don't I get these? But then I saw the taller ones too. So I was like, maybe I'll make some in. So I only got two and then four of these, but I think this is gonna look really adorable. And then I got a bunch of little houses. These are all of the little houses that I got. I got five total. So I got two of these ones really cause that's all they had. And then I got three of these ones and they, they're a little bit larger and they have like a silver roof on them. They were all $5 each and then these ones light up. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. These were in the dollar spot section, but they also had some very similar, like in the Wonder Shop area that were the same price. I think they just didn't light up. I thought these were cute and I'm gonna kind of put these with the trees and that garland all on my tablescape and I'll probably do a video about my dining room, like decorating my dining room for Christmas too video. I have so many videos I wanna do for you guys for Christmas. This was kind of like a last minute thing that I threw in my cart, but I got this, how much was this? $4.99, it's just like this little greenery stem. I'm thinking about putting this in my dining room on our little floating picture shelves and just kind of like sticking it in there like behind the shelf and just kind of have it like hang off the side so i got two of them like to do one on each side i think that's gonna look so pretty and really this could be left out all winter long because it's not necessarily christmasy it's just very like whimsical and wintry so i love that like so excited about that and then while we were there i got a couple things for the dogs i got them some dog sweaters they're inside out because I had them try them on and they do fit. Dude hated wearing his and then Bandit really didn't mind it. This is what they look like. They were like $12.99 I think, but they're really cute Christmas sweaters. Like even if you just want to get a picture of your dogs in some Christmas sweaters just for like a fun little memory. I just thought it was cute. They probably will not actually wear them because I mean, dude really hated it. And then I also grabbed them these little bow ties. They're so cute. They were $4.99. I got two of them. They each could have one. I know that they can put up with the bow ties, but the sweaters probably won't be able to put up with that. Do you see my dog just falling asleep back here? Last couple things I want to share with you guys are some new throw pillows that I got for this sofa. I had some really sort of like bright orange and red ones on here. It was really throwing me off with decorating these this room. And then I found these. My mom kind of helped me like pick out which pillows to get. And I really like this setup for the pillows. So I'll show you guys what it looks like maybe in like a little cutaway or something. But I got two large white ones and they're different. People were commenting to me saying I shouldn't go too matchy matchy on each side with the sofa. And I totally agree, like I just feel like this looks a little bit better. So then I got like a brown one and I really like that color on the sofa and then a little gray one. And then I realized I had this one still that I got from Target a long time ago. And so this one I just have in my little basket here next to the sofa now. So I think it looks really nice. I love those colors in here. I know I told you guys a while ago that I was not going to let the dogs up on the sofa, but I mean, really, could he be any cuter? That is everything that I have to share with you guys for this huge Christmas haul. Like I said, I'm going to try and leave links for everything down below in the description box if you guys wanna check out any of this stuff for yourself. 
Now we begin decorating. Now I'm gonna get started decorating my dining room, my mantle, all that stuff. It's going to be so much fun. So I hope you guys are ready for those videos. Make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications on so that way you don't miss any of these Christmas videos. I hope you guys get some inspiration, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will see you really soon in my next video.